Hulu? Nah. Netflix? See ya. Right stuff? Yes. Now that's the stuff. And we're not talking about Hostess. What is up guys, Venge here with another awesome product from Right Stuff Anime, but first I would like to give a huge shout out to Right Stuff for bringing this epic series over my way. So if you become interested in this series as you're watching this video, then feel free to check out the link in the description section to get the right stuff for the right price of $22.49. And this is quite the steal for an old classic due to the fact that you are getting all of the episodes. Due to the age of El Hazard, it was only able to be upscaled to DVD quality. DVD discs themselves aren't quite large when you compare them to the size of Blu-rays, therefore the case is going to be a bit bulkier. But don't be alarmed if you only have a Blu-ray player because Blu-rays can play standard DVDs. El Hazard, The Wanderers is the name of the series that will be reviewed today. Now let's start with the box art. I would assume due to the larger size of the DVD case, more was able to be added to the front of the case. Because out of all of the series that I mentioned thus far in previous reviews, this art has the most presented characters on the front cover. Just so many characters on the front, it's insane. So, and on top of that, the background still remains elegant and colorful. And when I look at the cover, I think of a mystical land of adventure. I mean, you can predict that people of different worlds will be interacting with one another if you've never seen this series before, because there are some characters in common attire that we wear, while there are others that are wearing more outworldly clothing. I really like how the bottom part of the background is used as an overlay which creates an illusion of soft, unique looking vegetation surrounding the characters of this story. And so as we move towards the spinal portion of the case, let me show you here, get a nice crisp image here. All right, you get the flowers expanding around the sharp print of the title. And I love how clean the print is. There's not a whole lot on the spinal portion of the cover, but it's more than enough to give you that nice, clean look that you're looking for. And then as we transition over to the back of the case, the back continues with the same color scheme as the rest of the box art. And then the back also contains clean thumbnails along with a brief summary of the series which i will read in a moment but let's just take a quick look at the ladies that we have here there's this interesting <clears throat> excuse me interesting looking trio that we have here that i have never encountered yet however it looks as if these ladies are powerful warriors and i'm going to assume that they are the guards of the queen of al hazard that's my assumption here. So before we take a look at what's inside here, I'm going to go ahead and read the text that we have here. And it says, Makoto, the main protagonist of the series, always outstages Janai without trying, which just aggravates the delusional rivalry that Janai has concocted within his own mind. However, when Janai attempts to sabotage Makoto's newest invention, the machine creates a dimensional rift and throws Makoto, Janai, and several others from their school into a strange new world that is filled with amazing creatures, beautiful sights, and dangerous enemies. If they ever want to get home, it's going to take wits, courage, and a lot of luck contains the complete 26 episodes 
of the television series, which is freaking awesome. That means you're getting everything in one package for a cheap price of $22.49. Also features a line art gallery, full color art gallery, clean openings, clean closing, and animated comics. That's pretty dope. So we have, it's the DVD format here. Aspect ratio or four to three, excuse me. Dolby Digital and this is published by Nozomi. Now, let's take a look at what's inside. <laughs> I just love that snap, crackle, and pop. It's nice and clean. Now, there isn't much going on inside in terms of art this time around. However, the great thing is you get the entire series in one set, as you could see. So there's no need to buy two or three sets for this series. You get everything in one go. So I mean, that's just freaking awesome. You get the entire series for the cheap price of $22.49. The right stuff. Just saying. Now let's talk more about my first impressions of the series as I have been watching them. Look at all this goodness! A lot of discs. The right stuff. Since you are still watching this video, I have the feeling you want to learn more about the amazing series known as Al Hazard, The Wanderers. And so if you become more interested in checking the series out, I will provide the link to it all for the right price in the description section below. El Hazard is a classic anime series that is all about adventure with plenty of comedy. Considering the fact that an enormous amount of the cast are female, it reminds me of the famed series known as Tenchi Muyo without all of the zany fan service. Now the story is about a group of students and a teacher who got warped into another dimension due to an accident caused by a menacing member of the school console who goes by the name of Janai. Makoto is the main protagonist who is idolized by the entire school. Janai is the main antagonist who tried to sabotage Makoto's experiment for an event at their school in an effort to ruin Makoto's reputation which would make Janai reclaim the title of top dog in his mind. However, Janai's tampering of Makoto's experiment created a dimensional time warp, or should I just say dimensional warp? I don't think it has anything to do with time. And this dimensional warp sends Makoto, Janai, Janai's sister, Nanami, and the tough and kind-hearted teacher Fujisawa to another world filled with monsters and magic wielding individuals. Now Makoto, Fujisawa, and Nanami works together to find a way back home while befriending the locals while Janai slowly plots to rule over El Hazard. Now you can tell the story is pretty old by simply observing the art style and the animation. However, the enhanced color and enthusiastic voice acting of the English dub team made the experience quite enjoyable. Um, the series is very simple to follow and the comedy would give you a good laugh. My favorite character so far is Fujisawa and he is an extremely laid back teacher and always lightens the mood with his overexcited personality and Fujisawa is like the life of the party due to his impulsiveness. And like I said previously, there are a lot of ladies in this series. <laughs> However, you don't have to worry about the series being littered with a bunch of outrageous fan service. So you're good there. You're safe. All right. so. It doesn't take much to please me when it comes to anime. However, there is one thing I did notice that would be nice to fix. Um, and what I noticed was there was a bit of flickering that I saw near the edges of the screen during one of the earlier episodes. I think it happened around episode two or three. The flickering wasn't that noticeable, but it was something worth noting. 
but despite that slight hiccup the quality is still very impressive due to the fact that the old series looks a lot more vibrant than the original um because i was as i was looking at clips of the original it looked very muddy and dark to me now the fun that can be had with watching al hazard should not be missed with that said I would give El Hazard an epic nine Fujisawas out of ten. So remember, if you want the right stuff, then go to rightstuffanime.com. Thanks for watching, and have a blessed day, people.